Good morning, my name is Dawn. I'm with Bayden Automotive. Um, I had the pleasure of reading to you guys last year in person at the school. This year we're going to do a little different, so I'm going to read to you through a video. So I hope you guys enjoy the book. Today we're going to read the book without a story. The library is a place that is full of stories. There are all sorts of stories to read there. Funny stories, scary stories, sad stories, and there are also the stories that the books tell about you. Oh yes, when the library closes and the last librarian has gone home to bed, when there's absolutely nobody about, all the books come out and talk to one another. My last reader read me on the bus, said Billy the Book of Birds. My last reader read me at lunch, said Susie the Space Story. There are splashes of soup on my pages, yum. Sitting way up on the highest shelf in the library, Dusty sighed sadly. They put me up there when I arrived, so no one was here, no one has ever read me. I don't even know what kind of book I am. There's a girl called Sophie who comes in here all the time. She'd love to read to you, said Marta, the book of math puzzles. But how will she see me if I'm all the way up here, said Dusty. Leave that to me, said Paul, the pop-up book of Paris. The rest of the books made a book ladder so that Paul could climb up to Dusty's shelf. The next morning, Sophie came into the library where her dad and her little brother, with her dad and her little brother, Jake. As she was passing under Dusty's shelf, Paul opened his Eiffel Tower pages and popped Dusty off. Good luck, he said. Down Dusty tumbled until he landed on the floor right in front of Sophie. She picked Dusty up and she was just about to open him when she saw her friend Layla. So instead, Sophie put Dusty on a table and ran over to say hello. Bless my bookmark, said Billy. How can we help him? We can't, said Susie. No one must ever see us move. So the other books could only watch as Sophie's little brother, Jake, sat down at the table. But Jake's never read anything, said Marta. He just draws. He won't even notice poor Dusty is there. But then a gust of wind blew in through the open window. Dusty's pages whispered in the breeze, sending out a little cloud of dust. Achoo, sneezed Jake, and he looked over at Dusty. And there was a big picture of a dinosaur, just like the one he was drawing. So Jake pulled Dusty over and looked at the cover. Then he turned the page and saw another dinosaur picture and another. Dusty was full of them. And, then, and next to each picture, there were words all about dinosaurs, his favorite thing in the whole wide world. So Jake started to read, and the more he read, the more... The, and the more he read, the more the hot, jungly dinosaur world of Dusty the Book of Dinosaurs grew inside his head. He was still reading when Dad said it was time to leave, but Jake didn't want to leave. He wanted to keep on reading. So the librarian explained he could borrow the book and take it home with him. Jake read Dusty all the way home, and when he finished the book, he started all over again. And when his friends came over to play, Jake told them all about the Book of Dinosaurs. Then he told all of Sophie's friends and all his mom and dad's friends too. When Jake brought Dusty back to the library the following week, all the other books wanted to know about his adventure. Did he read you on the bus, asked Billy. Well, he read me in the car, at the kitchen table, in the bath, and secretly at night, said Dusty. Then he shared me with his friends. It was so much fun. I wonder if anyone else will ever want to read me. Just look, whispered Marta, so Dusty did, and this is what he saw. Everyone did. The end.